Morning, Mark. How are you? Morning, Clive. Clive, unbeaten now in the Championship. That's your best run this season. Best, I think, for just over two years. And the players have had to work hard for it, haven't they? Well, that's the nature of the game. Um, championship's a tough league, as, as everybody knows. Um, and to, to, to do that, you know, in the circumstances, is, is a really good effort. Um, you know, I think after the first seven games of the season, uh, had we picked up, you know, just a few points from that that run, that poor run, we'd have been really close to the uh, to, to where the main action is. But it's um, to come from that position to where we are now is, uh, is is phenomenal, really. You know, we've picked a lot of points up. We've conceded um, actually less goals than we've games played. Um, so they're, they're in, yeah, they're, they're actually done brilliantly well. Um, playing some really good football and scoring some really good goals. So, um, yeah, 12 games to go, a lot of football to play yet. And um, like I say, we've got an international break coming, which we'll we'll need because we've got to get again players back from from injury and one thing and another. But um, yeah, ultimately we've got to be pleased. The five games have been a t tough games as well, um, but we've got a you know another tough game tomorrow. Um, at Huddersfield who are fighting for their lives and like I say it's a, a pleasing run but we've got to try and maintain it and keep going You did admit to being a bit flat after the Preston game because another injury uh, with Jamie Allen what's, what's the latest on, on Jamie? Uh, Jamie will be out for between four and six weeks so it's a, another blow um, as you'd expect you look at everything that you're doing but truth of it is we've done since the West Brom game I think we've had nine ten training sessions the games have been thick and fast anyway um, but the same players are playing so some players will be training um, fewer some train some train a little bit more but with a small squad you've got a small number so you taper the time of the training off the intensity has got to stay the same because they, they have to be be able to hit the intensity but the training duration comes down um, you know you look at the gym usage of the gym the, the, the pitch one of the pitch the pitch that we had laid is harder um, than the other one so we try and utilize the best one but it is a little bit harder so that's got to be a factor there's a lot of factors Clive and, and really you're looking at it and, and, and rather than being objective you, you sort of you, you sort of educated guessing um, and it's difficult but obviously that educated guessing is uh, is, is a bit mis misguided because we're still picking up significant injuries final one on injuries then Casey Palmer what's the prognosis with him um, well thankfully he won't need surgery which was which was always something that we were worried about but he's going to be out for a for a period of time I don't know I don't know yet is the honest answer on that but he's he's got to have uh, a course of treatment he's going to have some injections he's going to be uh, he's going to be a little while because it's like I said before it's a significant tear um, but we'll we'll get him back as quickly as we possibly can and you've actually got away games against the bottom three in the next three away matches but at this stage of the season can that be quite difficult because they're obviously fighting for their lives well they're all difficult anyway at any stage of the season but obviously things start to turn a little bit different you know people are scrapping you've got to you've got to be able to scrap but we've been in fights for the last few weeks anyway um really tough games that we've had and we've managed to pick up some really good points from it players are the players are in, in a good place they've had a few days off from uh the the game on tuesday obviously the travel obviously we're traveling again today so it's going to be um it's going to be a, an interesting one but it's it, like i say it's one that everybody will be looking forward to everybody's been ready to ready to go the the nature of it is the nature of it if, to fight and scrap in any football match is is you know it's a prerequisite but also january changes you know you, you go into the into the, the season with the championship and there's a lot of football played to start with um and then january comes and it starts to become a little bit desperate a little bit more direct you know a little bit more fraught um people are desperate to get results and um you know we're desperate to to keep playing our football and keep 
doing what we do and seeing if we can do that in the circumstances, any circumstances that we face. And you know, we're going to face a really difficult challenge tomorrow, but when we're uh, when we we'll go to it and fight it head on. Just a final thought for me. Um, now that Gareth Ainsworth has gone to Queen's Park Rangers, I think you're now fifth longest serving manager in the top four divisions, fourth if you don't count Simon Weaver, who of course spent much of his time out of the EFL. So that's <laughs> behind, just behind Jurgen Kopp and Pep Guardiola in uh, fourth place. I won't mind being a pound behind them both. <laughs> it's obviously, obviously in football, it's. Um, Longevity is the thing that you you crave, you know. And thankfully, I've been granted um, this time, and hopefully, long more time to call, many many more uh, seasons to come, many more games to come. So, yeah, I'm proud to be manager of Coventry City, as you know. It's on what is it now? Six years in in a couple of days. Um, but it's yeah, it's brilliant. It's been helped a lot by. Um, by the supporters, by the players, by the staff that I have. Just fantastic. It's been a really good experience and hopefully more um, and better days to come. That's great, Mark. Good luck with the next six years. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. How are we doing? How are you, Matty? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. From your point of view, had a, a few games now since coming back from injury. Feeling fully sort of... I know it sometimes takes strikers a while, doesn't it, to get a full sort of match sharpness and goal scoring. How, how are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, I, I, I'm getting there. Obviously, I had the, the little setback up that one game after after Luton, which um, which is kind of expected, really. I was never going to play in the game on the Tuesday anyway. Um, but I, d I didn't expect to miss it altogether. But um, it was it was one of those things. But, um, yeah, it's it's... I'm I'm getting there. I'm not I'm not too far away. It's just about building up their minutes now and um, and getting close to that 90 mark and the sharpness. You're only five points off the playoffs now. As I mentioned, you're playing three teams on the bottom three the next three away games. It must be nice the fact that you're looking up rather rather than down. I mean that that's an achievement in itself, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the, we we got to the point last year where we was the same. We were, we was in touching touch, touching distance of the playoffs for a while last year. So. Um, we know what we need to do, um, and it's, it's it's about us really. Uh, and that away following um, continues to, to, to back you, and that, that's a lift for everyone. The last away win, the way you celebrated in front of the fans, it's, uh, I think Josh Eccles says there's probably no better feeling in, in, in life. You must enjoy it when, when you get those opportunities. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's the same. It's the same at home as well. But when you when you go away and you. you You've battled for three points to then celebrate with a, a few thousand people is it, yeah it's very special when they're singing like they are and the stadium's empty and then there's only one side of the the, the stadium full full of our lot yeah it's it is special and I echo what Josh has said really yeah it's it, it's it is very good. That is mate. Thanks a lot, Matty. Good luck for tomorrow. Cheers, mate. Take care.